Romano taking some time. Here we go. The stretch by Romano and the pitch on the way to Crawford. Swing and a fly ball into shallow center field. Bichette going out. Springer coming in. Springer dives. Can't get to it. Gets out by everybody. One run scores Raleigh. Hedinger will score. Here comes Frazier rounding third. Frazier will score. This ball game is tied at 9-9. Bichette and Springer collide. Crawford in at second with a bases clearing three run double. But right now, Bichette is down. Springer is down. Two Blue Jays are hurt. A double by J.P. Crawford. And the Mariners have tied the game. What a comeback at 9-9 here in the top of the eighth inning. Holy smokes and a my oh my. What a comeback by the Mariners. For the Blue Jays to take game one. If they win game two, this series is over. How many times can this young man be a hero he'd love to do it one more time here's the pitch on the way swinging a drive into the gap in right center field that's going to get down breaks their bases cal heading for second up with the ball is bradley bobbles it now the throw comes in cal raleigh jr in at second base standing up with a double and the mariners with one out have the go ahead run on in scoring position love one more right here Cal will lead. Here's the pitch of the way. Swinging a line drive in the right field. Down the line and toward the corner. A base hit. Cal being raved around third. He'll score. Frazier in at second with a two-out RBI double. Claps his hands. And the Mariners, for the first time in the ball game, have a 10-9 miraculous lead here in the top of the ninth inning. Holy smokes. Adam Frazier comes through in the clutch. His third base hit. Is an RBI double giving the Mariners a lead here in the top of the ninth inning. And you betcha this crowd here in Toronto is absolutely shocked. Kirby slowly plants that back foot in front of the rubber. Chapman a lead at first base. One on two out. So one run lead, 10-9. Bottom of the ninth. Here's the stretch. And the Kirby. Oh, two pitch to Tappy on the way. Swing and a fly ball center field. Coming in Julio. He makes the catch and the ball game is over. The Mariners win the wild card series. They're going to Houston to take on the Astros in one of the most incredible, miraculous finishes and comebacks we have ever seen. The Mariners celebrate with a two-game sweep over the Blue Jays here in Toronto. The Mariners win it. A final score of 10-9. to The guys doing their happy dance. And guess what? Not only are the Mariners taking this series to Houston, that series will take the series back to you fans in Seattle. And the Mariner players are hopping up and down out at second base, having a great time in one of the greatest comebacks, in one of the greatest games we have ever seen. A real classic here in Toronto. The Mariners win it by a score of 10 to nine. Just watching some of the TV monitors, the Blue Jays won. They're in shock right now. So are these fans. You can't believe it. And, and Rick, I'm telling you right now, this does not happen in playoff baseball. You do not fall behind seven runs in a game and come back and win that ball game, especially when you look at that lineup and the quality of that team. These guys deserve so much credit. Look at Scott. He, he can't even oh believe gosh. it himself right now. No. What a ball game for these guys to come back and get this win because you just don't see it in playoff baseball. An incredible win for the Mariners. The Mariners were down 8-1. to one. They were down 8-5. to five. They were down 9-5. to five. They tied it at 9-9 to nine on a bloop double into center field by J.P. Crawford. And they win it with a run in the top half of the ninth inning on a two-out double by Adam Frazier. Folks, the only thing i got to say is holy smokes and a my oh my. This is one of the greatest games we have ever seen. The scene out there is fabulous with Scott Service bringing everybody into a huddle. They're all jumping up and down right behind the mound. This is a glorious scene right here for the Mariners. This is really, really special. And what we just witnessed is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. <laughs> exactly right. To see what the offense was able to do was one of those things, too. When you look at what Gosman was doing for the yeah. first five innings of this ball game. And then they just started to go to work on him, started to go to work on him. There was the one long inning where Gosman had to sit in the dugout forever, it seemed like. Then when he finally came out, he wasn't quite as sharp. And then he was out of the game. We got into the bullpen. That was a big key for this thing. The Mariners' edge was the bullpens. And the Mariners came back on their bullpen 
to win this ball game. And the Mariners' bullpen was really gutty again today. What they were able to do, especially George Kirby, he has never closed yeah, a game. Right. He's he's out there in the postseason, and he's out there closing games and throwing strikes. It, you know, it's just an incredible experience just to watch all of this. You said something early in the game about get into their bull. I mean, work that count, get his pitch count up, and it actually happened. It and actually and, happened. And, and the guys, it was almost like they heard what you were saying. I mean, that was the, the, the focal point, and they made it work. Well, they made it work, and I think for myself, just watching Gosman, especially in the first two innings, and he's throwing 98 miles an hour with one of the best splits I've ever seen. They were not going to hit that split. They had to find a way to get his pitch count up. When they played him earlier in the year, they, he went five innings and threw 85 pitches. That's kind of what kind of got in my mind, why I started thinking that way. And it just worked out perfectly for the guys today.